Hey, we're going to test the new version of GUN by streaming a table of 10,000 records between two browsers. So I'll explain what's happening as um, I have the test run. This test is through PANIC, which is a correctness and um, load test system. So it's already done in terms of network requests in 2.3 seconds, 10,000 items. However, the browser <laughs> The browser is not so fast. It's still processing the data. So I'm going to talk you through what's happening. Um, browser A, Alice, made a request to browser B, Bob, um, technically made a request for data. It doesn't know or care about the peers in the network. Um, and Bob replied with that data. Now, I could have these two browsers connect via WebRTC, but to test the performance of the network overall, I am having it run through a relay peer. A relay peer you can think of as being like a wireless router. Um, it just connects to um, multiple devices together. And the important thing that I'm checking is that the system stays performant, <laughs> whether it's the, the router or the browser itself. So the router, yes, very fast, 2.3 seconds for 10,000 records. and in the case of the browser, I want to make sure that the UI is still responsive while it's still processing the data. And so yes, like this would not be possible before. If you had 10,000 items, json.parse and json.stringify would lock up um, the screen for the browser for like half a second or a quarter of a second like that. So the UI stays very responsive. It is ridiculous that I, I, in order to do this, I had to implement a CPU scheduler inside of JavaScript, which is just absurd sounding. Um, but that's what allows the interface to stay responsive. The time to first um, response was 47 milliseconds, which is also pretty good in terms of uh, the browser latency-wise. The first data point that arrived was very, very, very fast. And the one other thing I wanted to comment on was Oh, what was it? Um, oh, right. Another thing I had to implement to get this to work, other than a CPU scheduler, is I was also running a custom JSON parser and custom JSON stringifier that is um, incremental. So if you send it a very, very large object, it won't process it in one go. It will process it incrementally, so that way the browser's interface and um, the relay peers stay responsive. So it worked. Uh, 2.3 seconds for 10,000 records, and then the browser took its sweet time to process the data, but the UI stayed responsive, and that's important for your applications, making sure that your applications stay responsive no matter what's happening underneath with GUN. So that's an a early preview of the new version of GUN that's coming out. It's working. <laughs>